And it is count day across the state, but some students are skipping class in protest for what they say is a lesson of their own. 7 Action News reporter Naya Hardin tells us what they want from school leaders in Detroit. Organizers here say they're not skipping school. They're providing another option for students. They have a list of demands right here. Free lead testing for students. Most importantly, they want answers. I'm really just sick of school and how they keep us in the dark and how there's no answers for anything. They're just band-aid solutions. Maya Solomon and nearly two dozen Detroit students skipped school and held what they're calling freedom classes at the Cass Corridor Commons. I think that encouraging people to come here is making it less of a strike and more of a, a better option. The protest led by the Detroit Area Youth United Michigan, a student organization. They want answers about the district's water problem and demand citywide water testing. Water in 57 out of 86 schools tested positive for high levels of lead and or copper. Drinking fountains are still off. I don't know what kind of effect that's had on me. Like, I don't know if there's any lead in my system. Like. I don't know any of that, and so it's actually kind of scary. And for Students learn different topics dealing with water and their rights. There are people confused, and there are people misinformed. We want people to learn, you know, how the schools can actually get money back if we don't come to school, um, what the effects of lead are, um, how you can test lead water. The district did not have a response about the protest, but says they hope all students attend school every day. We just want you know, more support and more backup from the school system. So they don't deserve to have it easy if they can't support us the way students feel we should be supported. The district says they'll still be able to receive funding for those students as long as they're enrolled in school by today and they continue to attend school in the next following days. In Detroit, Nia Harden, 7 Action News.